Hey everyone and welcome back to Wide Open Water. Today's video you are watching the Yellow Bass Bonanza. It took place about two, three weeks ago from now when you're probably watching this video. It was a very cold day and camera gear when it's very cold doesn't always hold up. So I recorded it as much as I could during the tournament. I didn't film as much as I wanted but to make up for it I'm going to do a little bit at the end of this video kind of giving some tips and suggestions if you ever want to do this tournament or if there's any tournament where you have to bring live fish in while you're ice fishing. So we'll get to the video and I hope you guys enjoy. At this point in the tournament, my camera gear did fail. My brother-in-law and I, we got to the spot after racing about 200 people on four-wheelers and side-by-sides. Uh, right away, I did catch the one fish, and I think I got about two more there. Uh, it did slow down later in the day, but it was amazing how myself being 20 feet away from my buddies, I only caught about three fish at that spot, and they caught over a limit. So they had about 30 fish just being a little bit farther in. But I was extremely happy that my friends got a full limit. Only about 16 people out of 300 and something teams came in with a limit. Myself and my brother-in-law, we ended up getting, we caught eight fish, but we ended up only weighing seven. It's kind of a long story how we somehow we lost a fish on the way in. So I was really happy for myself and my brother-in-law. We were able to bring in seven fish. It's not a very impressive total, but com compared to the 50% of the people that didn't even weigh in, I think it's just great to be able to bring in a couple fish. It ended up benefiting us to, I guess not benefiting us, but we got 80th out of the 300 and something teams and we won two Eskimo pistol bits. So I think it would be selling my gas auger and switching to electric now. But looking towards those tips now, uh, going into the tournament, I think it's really good just to make sure that you have all your rods ready. Uh, right when I got to the first spot, I couldn't find my bait puck, and that's something I probably should have known where it was right away going into it. And luckily we had a container of wax worms. But also going before the tournament starts, I think it might be a good idea to bait up your hooks. Just so once you drill a hole and if there's fish there, you can drop on them immediately and try to catch as many as you want, or as many as you can. Uh, going on to the next part about being prepared is the bucket that you have, you're supposed to put your fish in or in it and have it full of water. Uh, that's just something that I didn't think about uh, filling up before. 
So I catch one fish right away. I was on a school, but I was more concerned about getting this fish in the water because they had to stay alive throughout the entire day. So I went and got the bucket. I wasted a lot of time trying to get that ready when I could have done it before. So it's just something that if you're going to do the tournament, look into doing before. I would think about bringing just like a, a large cup and drilling a hole right at the start line and filling up. And as long as you're with a group of people, if one person has it, everyone should be fine. Uh, the next thing I'm going to say is stay mobile. Everyone raced to this one spot on the lake. I'm not going to say exactly where it was, but that's where everyone knew the fish were, and that's where some of the bigger ones were. Uh, since everyone was there, it was extremely pressured, and at a certain point, my brother-in-law and I noticed the bite was slowing down. So we kind of pulled a wild card, and we went from the big lake and went over to the small lake, and we used my live scope, and we were panning around, and we found a couple more fish. I think we caught... Three more, which put us at the seven that we had. And I guess it, it could have paid off more, but I'm just glad that we were able to move around, fish by ourselves, and just not have to worry about fishing 20 feet away from people. Overall, I foresee myself doing the Yellow Bass Bonanza for many years to come. Kevin and Chris host a great tournament, and there's a lot of people behind the scenes that help make this thing what it is. So big thank you to everyone that does that. Uh, looking forward, I guess, till the rest of my ice fishing season. Uh, we, we're get, currently getting a lot of snow, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to be able to get on the lake anymore unless I just walk. So I'm probably just going to have to rough it. And I'm actually have a big trip coming up probably next week where I'm going to be going to northern Wisconsin to chase some crappies. And it, it's actually a bachelor party, so I'm sure I won't be fishing as much as I want to. But the goal is to be able to get out there for at least a couple hours and catch some fish. Um, until next time, folks, I'm Cam to Drop with Wide Open Water, and I'll catch you later. Mm -hmm.